Yeah, Jill said, you know what, I can't think of a better thing to eat on a day like this when it's cold outside, snowing, to eat comfort food like cabbage rolls. They are delicious. Kathy uh, with Heritage Bakery and Deli walking us through how to make them. You make a lot of cabbage rolls yeah. here. This is just one of the big roasters you have filled here. How do you how do you go about doing this? Uh, obviously, it's made with cabbage, but you don't use raw cabbage. You cook your cabbage first. Yep, we cook the cabbage to soften up the leaves okay. so that they're more malleable, and you can roll a nicer cabbage roll. And then here we have three different kinds of cabbage rolls. We have rice and onion, rice and beef, and rice and bacon. It's the most popular. Rice and beef, unless you're a vegetarian, which is rice and onion. I thought and for sure you were going to say rice and bacon. Just having bacon on the menu. Yeah, it's, that's a good one. That's <laughs> probably the second favorite, but rice and beef. So okay. we usually start out with some rice, some beef, salt and pepper, and some fried onions for flavoring. Ah, yes. Mix it all together, and then... So there's no tomato sauce on the inside. That nope. comes after. That comes after. We cover the, uh, the pots with the, um, the tomato sauce, and then that gets baked for five hours afterwards. So five hours, but you're talking about a roaster like this. At home, if you were making something smaller, how long would you cook Probably it? Probably an hour to two hours, depending on whether your cabbage is a little bit softer or not. That uh, depends on that. If you've got really hard cabbage, you want to cook it a little bit longer. And I think it's important to know, too, that since it is raw beef on the inside, if you're using meat, you, want to, you don't want to undercook this. No, you don't want to undercook it, although some people will cook their beef first. We don't um, because we bake them for so long. So really, there's variations. You can cook it before. Uh, the rice and onion ones, you wouldn't have to cook as much right. because there is no meat in them. Now the right. So does it get tougher if you pre-cook your meat before, necessarily? Is it? Um, is that why you avoid it? Yeah, that's why we avoid it. We don't it. want to dry. Yeah, we don't want to dry and mout. Um, and it just works well for us, but... Like I said, we have big pots and we can bake them for that long. I don't know if you'd want to start your oven for five hours at home. Well, exactly. yeah. You're a natural at this. Look at this. You make that look so easy. Mine would be in pieces all over the place. And I do want to point out if uh, people want to taste the uh, not only just the cabbage rolls here, but the pierogies, the borscht, all that stuff. I'm going to walk you over here because at Heritage Bakery and Deli, they actually have tables and chairs. You can come in here for lunch. You can even come in here for breakfast, you guys, just like I did this morning. And uh, you can eat here or take it all home. There's so many things to choose from here. I think I might just uh, have some more pierogies before I come back to enjoy. Why not? Mm -hmm. um, you know what? We did post on Twitter for the best Ukrainian food in town, and that was the place that got a lot of response.